Okay, and the prosecutor team from the Southern District of New York asked arguing that he's a flight risk. That's why he cannot be released because he is going to fly back to China. But that's ludicrous. Okay, that's ludicrous. If you argue here, say that this Harry Lu, this uh, Chinese spy would fly back to China, yeah. that's acceptable. But, but, the, but the CCP has proven that they have been attacking Miles nonstop. You know this in this uh, the other indictment that charged by uh, charged the 40 a uh, police a uh, policeman from the chinese M M mps is saying it very clearly they have been harassing attacking and hacking surveillance and electronic hacking a uh, mile score non-stop beginning from 2017 okay so my school would not fly back to china because he is the number one enemy of the totalitarian state so this is this couldn't be wrong anymore than what it's already presented in front of everybody. everybody. So, um, Man, yeah, people, so I'm going to stop People right watching there. this, I mean, if there's any independent journalists out here watching this show today or politicians, I can't imagine that the, that the CCP is able to do all of these things in the United States and with the technology and the AI and the power that we have right now, how is everybody not tracking the money? Where are they? Where is the money coming from that's allowing them to pay rent every month? Where are they spending money at? Where is money changing hands between the CCP and all these criminals? Are they using cryptocurrency? Because we have the ability, people think that you can't track crypto. Crypto is 100,000 times more easy to track, but dumb criminals think they can use it and get away with it. How are these people operating? I mean, uh -huh. I mean how much did they donate? How much is the CCP donated to Eric Adams? And, and what uh -huh. at what point is this not espionage or, or or potential treason. I mean, they're not American citizens, so they're, are they committing treason? Like, it doesn't seem like you're going to let a CCP operative, somebody working directly for the CC party, out of prison. And if Eric Adams or any of these politicians agreed to or signed off on it or helped it, they need to be held accountable. Every single penny that Eric Adams has ever spent or ever has went into his campaign needs to be investigated.